Welcome, my name is Mark Bloomsma, Principal Consulting Sales Engineer at Forcepoint, and today I will demo the integration between Forcepoint Classification and Forcepoint Enterprise DLP. I will start by uh, opening our Get Visibility through uh, our ZTNA uh, solution and demonstrate how easy it is to set up the classification. Um, this is our classification portal, and we have a simple wizard you walk through to apply your classification. So you can decide which compliancy tags you want to apply. So in this case, I've selected uh, PAI and PCI, but we also have EER, ITAR, and, uh, and various others. Um, then you decide which kind of classification scheme you want to use. In this case, commercial uh, is the default, um, and uh, that consists of public, internal, confidential, and high confidential. Then you decide which Office plugins you want to enable, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. I chose to enable them all, enable them all including the Windows Explorer integration for files that are not Office files and you still want to classify. Um, then you decide what to do within those Office uh, applications, so like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Uh, do you want to warn or force classification uh, when people are saving or printing? And would you allow or not allow uh, lowering of classifications of existing files. Uh, then you decide the visual uh, markings. Do you want to see uh, show headers and footers? Um, and you configure what they have to look like or what they can look like. And you can apply an optional watermark uh, across the document. Next, you decide with which Outlook policies you want to enable. So do you want to um, force or warn uh, for classification when people are sending? Uh, when people are modifying and printing emails? Um, do you want to allow sending of unclassified attachments uh, or do you want to inherit the classification from the attachment directly into the email? And again, lowering uh, the classification and what to do with reply and fault. Again, visual tagging, so showing headers and footers in the email body, uh, obviously no uh, watermarking on emails, uh, does make sense. Um, and then you can figure what to do um, when you hit a specific classification level. So in public, do you want to have domains where they can uh, are allowed to send or block to send or uh, just get a warning? Um, and you do the same for internal emails, uh, confidential emails and highly confidential emails. And you can er inherit the rules, which saves you the uh, uh, repeating a configuration if you would like to use the same uh, destination domains. And that's as easy as it gets. You have a simple um, classification setup, and all I need to do is restart that uh, service, and now the classifications are enabled. Next, we can go into our Forcepoint DLP management system. We log in. First thing we have to do is not save the password, but we have to set up what we call content classifiers, and, and these ones are called file labeling. So I've already predefined a few. So we have here our labeling system. And actually, let me change them because I made a small change in the label. So I add the label, the file label in this case, click OK. So once I've added these labels, and as you can see, you can add as many as you like, um, I can use them in the DOP policy as well. And I have this rule with force point classification. which will trigger on the condition of these file labels being, uh, in this case, a combination of internal and the PII label. So both these labels need to be present before the DLP system will trigger. Next, you define an action. And in this case, the action is statically um, 
And on the endpoint side, I've chosen to pop up a confirm message. In the email, uh, network email, uh, I've chosen to quarantine the message. And on HTTP, on a network level, I chose to block. I can also manage uh, connections over the cloud. Uh, so using an API integration where I can unshare files, I can uh, monitor people uploading and downloading the files and so on and so on. And obviously I can create incidents um, as we are used to in our enforcement DLP system. Then if you have risk adaptive, you can also apply of course a risk adaptive um, approach to that same policy. I uh, define the source, I define the destination as we are used to with a uh, uh, DLP policy. And that is it, I can say, okay. And I deploy my policy. And it will take effect. Let's have a look on what it looks like on the client side. So we have this uh, force point uh, classified document as we've created before. And when I'm trying to send out an email, for example, and I will attach this file to the system, I will send it to uh, a arbitrary domain. Um, I will send the file. Uh, at least I will try to send it. And what you will see on the right bottom here is that the email was actually blocked from being sent based on the DOP policy. So if we go back to our DOP system and we go to the report, we will see an incident, a newly created incident um, that has triggered on uh, the classification of internal and uh, GDPR PII. Uh, there's other uh, things in the file that triggered policies, uh, but it mainly around the classification. We can do that for email. We can do that for uh, all the other channels that we have as well. So web uploads, uh, printing, uh, and so on and so on. So that concludes the integration of Forcement classification with uh, Enterprise DLP. As you can see, it's really simple, really straightforward and you can build a, uh, an easy DLP policy based on that classification.